Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to Rust Build 3.0. Now if you didn't know Rust has got a new build system and this is the first look on the staging branch. The first main thing is you see I'm building blocked here, I can no longer put twig foundations around the TC which I am not authorised on. You can still however put floor tiles in place. So that still stays, so you can still get there with ladders, but you can no longer put foundations in place at all if you're building blocked. It's, it's impossible, you can't do it. Which is a good thing, um, I think it equalises it all out now qu quite well compared to what it was. It's kind of a step back, but it has equaled it in my opinion. Now, TC has changed as well. You'll see now that if you keep an eye on the build privilege, for some reason, Every time you go out, the connected foundation to that actual initial foundation continues your privilege out as far as you want to go. You can see now I am I can't go any further. Bill privilege is still there. If I slide along, you see it was roughly about five to six tiles from the last foundation. Your bill privilege goes. You can see there it just comes in and comes out. Now if I was to split one of these foundations back here, about five, it disappears. So all connecting foundations to the original foundation seems to be the way it's working. Which is good, however, if you do get foundation white, as soon as they break a foundation, they're going to start getting privilege. So your foundations are going to become quite important when you're building your bases. So you're going to have to protect them as much as possible and make sure don't leave any like single row foundations coming out and hope for the best basically. So if you go to external cupboards you can have to take out five or six before you put the next one whereas before I think it was 11. Now another major change is the way you can put foundations you can actually stagger them now. What I mean by staggering is you just lift up and you can take them up higher only by one though it won't go any higher from what I've found anyway. Now, this is good if you're building slopes, etc. However, it does have one downfall. And it's going to make it harder for raiding and cost more to raid if the builder knows what they're doing. Because the half wall being brought in as well means they can stack the foundation a lot easier. So if I run around and quickly do this. Take foundation. You see now, if I fire into this corner like you did before, it would take down the walls and the foundation are about it. But because it's stacked, it's now taking away the half walls and that foundation is fine. So, Theoretically, you could actually hide things in here and make those little bunker basement bases that you see a lot easier than you could before. So raiding is going to become a little bit harder, but because you can build five foundations out now, it is easier to tower up. So it's equaling itself out again in quite a bit. So you can be a bit more inventive in how you build. Now just for another example now I will show you, you can stagger up, drop these down, put some half walls in place, lock it off, you can actually put a floor tile in place now as well. So you can make compartments in your base and show, the stability does show that it's low but if you're going to make a base and you're willing to pick out your floor, you know which one it is, lock that down. For the time being, on staging anyway, when you're doing it, the stability does still show, so you can find those little secret rooms if they exist. However, I have found if you stagger them up like so, and half wall the inside.
Plot this down. Bear in mind, you would know where this one is. No one else would know when they're raining. If you put a floor on top of it, it's 100% stability. So you can basically fill the inside walls in, put the floor tile in place, come back online, break it out, have your loot boxes in there. So just for example, put two boxes in here. You've got your little hidden loot room in here. And you literally just float up every time. So people can get more sneaky, so it's going to help the solo player, if you like. Because he can be more cunning in what he does. Stability doesn't come in as much if you're hiding your loot in these kind of floors. Now using the half wall system and the staggered foundation system, I've managed to quickly put this together. Now, thinking of this as part of a base that's already in existence, if you're protecting like going down away making a bunker from an already existing base by being able to put the floor tiles in off the half wall sockets it becomes a lot harder and you now can't put roof pieces within walls and I'll show you what I mean now you can't barricade a roof piece like you could before it won't let you put it at the back you see that now has its own socket now that's only there because of the door frame, so I can take that door frame away and I can put a wall here because it's on its own socket. So before you'd be able to go all the way around this and block it up, now you can't do it. You can do it from the top but you're going to have an open side. So theoretically you could switch this round and have that as outside your roof and they would have to blow through this piece. but. It's not working as a honeycomb as it was before, so you can still just shoot through and get to your loot. So There's one thing to bear in mind, if you're building your base and you want to do it in a way where you had your roof honeycomb stacking, you can't do it as you did before. Now I'm pretty sure there's a way you can manipulate it or work it in a way where it could actually work quite well from the outside. So if they're coming in from here, from above it will still protect. But there's always going to be an open gap so it's one thing to bear in mind as well if it's something you're planning to put in your base just test and play about with it first before you actually do it another big change also is wall stacking is a lot harder and practically impossible now as well because you break away from the natural foundation coming back in you can't actually join for the super close wall stacking we are playing about with it at the minute to see what we can actually get up but the wall stacking that I used to do personally to get it super close for stability traps etc has now practically gone so it's a big game changer as well for people who use wall stacking um, again I can only suggest you go on a creative server and play about your base designs prior to actually the update hitting because you can see there's some huge changes that are going to affect your build everything just joins as it was you can't get that in at all we've tried quite a lot of ways and it's just not allowing it so this is the first look at update of how it is um, I'll probably do another update after the full release is out and any changes or anything that happens or anything we manage to find that we can use to manipulate I'll add into that as well so stay tuned um, I'll update on Twitter as well if we find anything I go la 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 la